What is Chris Jericho wearing? Why is he not wearing smiling? Come on, Jericho, I want you. Let's go. Chris Jericho. What is he wearing? Why is he wearing that? Why is he not wearing a his normal clothes? As much as you want to climb the cage, John, to grab one of those weapons, you also have to worry about getting a pinfall or submission in the ring. You get carried away and trying to grab him, I would imagine. But Chris Jericho waits for the yeah, that's what he's listen. Jericho is calling for the door to be open, but again, no escape in this matchup. Oh my god. My, I think it was my cousin who said this. Yeah, my cousin said that some some wrestlers just want me to get their shirt on. Like Chris Jericho. I'm not saying he looks fat, he just looks kind of like. Ambrose with a clothesline. Big. Like just a little bit. Always in the barbed wire steel cage match with Big Show. And like to me, like me and my cousin were just like, it kind of, we kind of look at him and it's just like, that doesn't, like that doesn't suit him. Oh, Jericho's going up. And Jericho going to climb to the top of the, uh, the cage here, or the asylum, as Chris Jericho going to try to prevent him from grabbing one of these weapons in this matchup. Is he going after Mitch or that son of Mitch? Yeah, it could be Mitch. Or I am through. Jericho and Ambrose with the right hands now hammering away. We don't know how long Ambrose spent just concocting this idea for the asylum match. Developing this idea for the, the weapons that are available at his disposal. Yeah, I would bet about oh, yeah. oh, he's got right a minute. kindle stick, he's got a mop and a bucket, and he's got a potted plant. That's <laughs> a hell of a lot of planning, Byron. Oh, he's a quick thinker. You know, Jimmy Hoffa's buried somewhere here in New Jersey. I wish you were too. Unbelievable the things you say sometimes. Jericho driven into the, the asylum. Something else. It's a great comeback. I always do. You know Ambrose is thinking here. You know, right? mm. And Dean Ambrose now. Which one will I choose? With Chris Jericho down and at it and running into the cage. He's got a two by four covered in barbed wire next to a mop and a bucket. And it looks like he's going for the mop and the bucket. The bucket here, John. Obviously, the first place is options. Or he's going for the leather strap. Odd way to get to the strap. And now Chris Jericho hitting up the cage. Looking for the mop and the, bu the bucket again. He's almost there. Dean Ambrose trying to run interference. <laughs> Jericho catches him with an elbow and then a right hand. And now Jericho trying to reach the mop first. You said earlier. He was friends with, he was friends with Perry Saturn. Yeah, I was going to say, Perry be proud. Oh, oh, yeah. Please. <laughs> First time that's a sports telecast. First time. Oh! We're going to mop up Jericho here in this match. That was awful. I second that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Steph. He had a smile on his face. He was smirking. Oh, he enjoys this. This is Ambrose's playground. This yeah, rivalry has been, been really long. Like this rivalry has been on in the sense night. that how I will Dean's old job for he got canceled and replaced with the Ambrose awesome. Asylum. Who knows? You need side Russian leg sweep and poppy pie. Come on! Come on! Uh -huh. Come on. Mess with that mouse. Oh <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't do that to a rock star. Don't do that to Bon Jovi. Well, what'd you tell him that? Get the two by four left in the ball of water. Oh, hot water out here. Horrible. Oh, 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 I'm so angry. Oh. You want to go for that first? You know I'm going for it. Uh-oh. Jericho's eyeing that. I don't know. Is it straight set? Or no, two by four. Two by four, yeah. The barbed wire on the end of it. 
Please go for that, so then, yay! So then Dean Ambrose might be your event. Ooh. What a hard spine. Suplex like that normally is a finish to a match. These guys are just getting started. Yeah. And plenty of weapons at their disposal. Look at this. Yeah. Max suplex. Now both men on opposite sides of the asylum. Uh oh, climbing up to grab a weapon. Jericho going for the two by four with the barbed wire on it. And guys, Dean Ambrose is grabbing some nunchucks. Oh, yeah. Jericho got what he wanted. Ambrose with nunchucks in hand. I don't know. Nunchucks against yeah. a hard wire two by four. This could be a bad situation for Ambrose. Yeah, Ambrose is a uh, little out gun here. Oh, oh yeah. Ambrose has it, and Ambrose knows how to use them. Okay, I think I'm going to get the advantage of Ambrose. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, with the nunchucks. Ooh. Those nunchucks are made like an ass. Oh, he's off the ass. He'll break a bone. I feel like he's gonna get pushed through the table. Jericho back into the asylum, and now Jericho senses perhaps the upper hand. And now Jericho. Oh my. Uh oh. Kendo oh no. Ooh. I thought one of them was gonna get pushed through the table. Jericho knows how to use that. Jericho very proud of himself. I bet, you know what? Here's the thing, if you play the asylum match, I bet the Ambers is going to do the Lady G going to the, uh, the 2x4, or like some sort of weapon. There's Jericho right now. Right in the face and forces Jericho to kick out. In complete control. Well, the first cage match was 1937. I think they had this in mind when they first had, came up with the idea. Come on, Rossi and Jack Bloomfield, by the way, Atlanta, Georgia. There's Jericho now, and head to the top of the asylum again. Uh-oh. 